So I'm going to show a tool called uh, assembly visualization, and it's built into every install of SolidWorks. It's there by default. You don't have to go find it anywhere. It's, it's ready to roll for you. Maybe a, a common thing that people might run into is I'm seeing a, a slowdown or a sluggish behavior, or um, it, it's slow to rotate, or it takes a while to open. Those are all like different aspects of performance issues, right? It's kind of easy to say like, I'm having performance issues, but that doesn't really narrow it down that that is a really generic statement, actually. So this tool helps you figure out what what is actually going on and, and uh, where you might um, want to pay a little bit more attention inside your assemblies. So let's take a look. This is um, a mold-based assembly that's actually like, if you dig in the software in the design library, you could find this. It's in, it's in most installs of SolidWorks right inside the design library. But if I'm using this, and maybe I'm an engineer who says, I'm, I'm seeing performance issues, it's slow, or it takes a long time to rebuild or whatever, right? What are some of the ways in which you can troubleshoot that? I personally think one of the best ways is to use assembly visualization. So if I turn that on, what it does is it will color code your assembly based on parameters. It actually has a lot of really, really cool functions like show me all my file names in alphabetical order and then color code the assembly, you know, as such, or sort my assembly by weight. Let me see right, right now it's sorted by weight. Show me the heaviest component, like physically heaviest component. And uh, maybe that's a great insight to have. I can make some changes to my assembly based on that. But we're here really for performance reasons, right? We want to know what's going on from a performance perspective. There's this little button, this fourth button in called performance analysis. And it's kind of cool. They build this in and, and it's like a nice shortcut because if you press that, it automatically adds three new columns here to the end of performance visualization. So it adds total graphics triangles, SW open time, and SW rebuild time. So those are all like everything I was saying a moment ago. These are all things you look at to see if, if I'm seeing performance issues or even if I just like, I'm not even seeing issues. I just want to optimize my assembly to be as fast as possible. All of these will give you different bits of information. So this first one, total graphics triangles. If I sort by that, I can see what is the heaviest component in terms of graphics triangles. And what that means is like the, the graphically heaviest component, not the physically heaviest component, the graphically heaviest component, meaning like what component is taxing my machine the hardest in, in this assembly. And a really cool uh, little trip uh, trick is if I click that component and just wait for this little in context menu to pop up, I can press component com uh, preview window, which that's kind of a whole tip in and of itself. But if I press that, then I get a nice little preview as to what the part is. And sure enough, it's a pretty detailed um, little insert here. There's a lot of edges. There's a lot of uh, fillets on this. Fillets are pretty graphically heavy um, features. There's There's curvature there. And not only is there one, but it looks like there's six of them. So it's like a, a complex part times six. We've put it in here six times. So as, as a designer, I can use this feedback to say, okay, maybe if I take this one part and simplify it, maybe I don't need those fillets there all the time, or maybe I can make just a representation of this part, like a, a cylinder that's roughly the same size and takes up the exact amount of space, but will be uh, a fraction of the graphics triangles, right? It won't have all that info on it. And I can make a configuration where I just swap those out and make this assembly run a lot faster. This is a pretty simple example. These parts are probably not taxing this assembly too bad, but a classic example is if I working with an assembly, maybe I download some parts from the internet, from various uh, suppliers' websites. Sometimes those parts are imported messy geometry with a lot of edges on it that somebody else modeled 20 years ago or something. And when you drop that into your assembly, maybe you multiply it because you put it in there 20 times and now you're, you're, um, exponentially increasing that problem. So this tool helps you find those parts. It helps you identify those, uh, those, those, those problems or those outliers. The other two columns are really useful as well. SW open time. That's exactly what it sounds like. What, how long did these parts take to open? So if I sort by that, this top plate took the longest to open. And now like relatively, it only took 1.1 seconds, right? As, cause as compared to everything else, but there could be a big outlier here that when you're opening an assembly, maybe it was referencing like 
some coworker's machine in another building accidentally, and it's pulling a file from his machine, and everything else was on your local machine or or on uh, your your server, maybe or maybe even in PDM. But this tool again helps you. Without this, it would be pretty difficult to see, you know, in order which parts were taking the longest uh, longest to open. So that's really cool. You can quickly find out uh, which which parts are taking the longest to open, and finally. SW rebuild time. If I sort by that, which part is taking the longest to rebuild? And in this case, it's this bottom uh, bottom plate. So maybe I'll preview that again and see what's going on. So yeah, sure enough, that's a plate with a whole bunch of holes. And even if I zoom in, there's even like countersinks on the other side too. So it's holes on holes with a whole lot of them, a whole lot of them, no pun intended, and then a, bun, a bunch of uh, chamfers around all the edges. So a lot of features. The answer here is this is a part with just a lot more features going on, a lot more information going on um, than everything else relatively. So again, kind of gets back to the graphics triangles. This might be a case where as a designer, I can decide to simplify that part. Maybe I don't need to see those holes all the time. Maybe I can make a version where the holes are suppressed. And when I'm working in the top level assembly, I use that version. I don't have to have all those holes visible at all times. So I really like this tool. If if nothing else, it's just a troubleshooting tool. It's just another tool in SolidWorks that gives you more information. And it's it's right here on the Evaluate tab. Assembly visualization is super easy to access. And I think it gets overlooked quite a bit. So I hope, uh, I hope some people check it out.